Social Security is a big mess right now. Take a look at this. Social Security backlog leads to $1 billion in improper payments. This comes as we have a new bill just introduced into Congress here that seeks to end Social Security overpayment clawbacks. I'm going to give you the details of what's going on with the bill and what mess the SSA is in right now, as well as a new fiery speech from Larson. Newsflash! The average woman in this country when they retire gets $14,000 annually from Social Security. And for more than half of them, that's all they have to live on. And yet these bastards... I'll play the full video clip of that as he is not happy and I'll give you some other important updates as well. Before I dive into the main content, if you appreciate the social security updates, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more social security updates. So the social security backlog leads to $1 billion in improper payments. So the SSA backlog rose by 44% from September 2017 to September 2023 and paperwork backlog is blamed for improper payments. So uh, there's a big mess going on right now. So basically, the SSA, uh, the reason what they've said for this big backlog is they cited unexpected staff reductions, increased workloads, and less than expected overtime funding as an explanation for the record-breaking backlog. According to the SSA, additional overtime funding would have been used to pay employees to process more pending ac actions per processing center, saying this report continues to highlight the urgency uh, for SSA to reach its pending actions performance goal and to ensure beneficiaries receive their proper payments as promptly as possible. So to me, this kind of sounds like a way for the SSA to say, hey, we need more money for more employees, uh, when really the SSA is just a big, bureaucratic, bulky organization that is very inefficient. Uh, they seem to be very antiquated and not uh, giving out payments when they should. And they're giving overpayments, then clawing them back. They're giving underpayments. It's actually a very big mess. So let's go over this too. Uh, Carrie works on bill to protect social security recipients, prevent overpayment problems. So we're gonna get into this bill. I'll let you know how it'll prevent overpayments and clawbacks. Before we do, I'm gonna share this video clip with Representative Larson first, and he is fired up. Now, a really interesting fact about this video clip, uh, it's not a recent video clip. It's actually not from a few months ago, not from a few years ago, it's actually from six years ago, and he is just as fired up then as he is now. So take a look at this video clip and I'll go over this bill. From Connecticut is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman and uh... What a profiles in lack of courage this is today, exhibited in the House of Representatives. But it does give us an opportunity, however limited the time is, to expose a lot of the myths, like this notion that the other side continues to perpetuate that Social Security and Medicare are entitlements. Newsflash, it's the insurance that the American people have paid for. Newsflash, 10,000, 10,000 baby boomers a day become eligible for Social Security. Newsflash, the average woman in this country when they retire gets 14 thousand dollars annually from social security and for more than half of them that's all they have to live on and yet these bastions of courage on the other side would like to cut these programs not by coming to the floor of the house of representatives and having a vote on it not by having a discussion in a committee or even the semblance of a hearing, but somehow, as Mr. Neal said, with a mask on, decide that they're going to introduce an amendment where they'll never, ever have to vote on what their constituents actually have to face 
day in and day out. These are American citizens who have paid through an insurance program, not an entitlement. It's called FICA, the Federal Insurance Contribution Act. Whose contribution? The American people's contribution. If you want to vote to take it away, have the courage to bring up a bill and vote on it. How about we increase the benefits the for the people of this country expired, who need it? I and yield the back my time. From Virginia is recognized. What are your thoughts on Representative Larson? He seemed really upset then and still giving the same message to help out Social Security recipients. So uh, that clip, as I mentioned, was from six years ago and he's still uh, putting out the same message and Congress has still not taken any action, which is really sad. Uh, let's get into this right here. Representative Carey drafts bill that seeks to end Social Security overpayment clawbacks. So U.S. Rep. Uh, Mike Carey is working on legislation that seeks to end the practice by, so by Social Security of collecting overpayments. The bill would prevent the Social Security Commissioner from collecting an overpayment if the payment occurred more than three years prior or if the overpayment was due to error on the part of the commissioner. These provisions would not apply if determined that the payee had committed fraud. So what was said here from Representative Carey, almost a million Americans every year, including some right here in Ohio's 15th Congressional District, receive overpayments from the Social Security Administration. These individuals did not ask for these overpayments and sometimes did not know they were received, yet they may be asked years later to return this money. Uh, so true. So, so many people getting the overpayments have no idea that they're getting overpaid. It could just be, uh, you know, $10, $15, $100 extra a month. They're getting paid by the Social Security. They think everything is fine. Uh, to come fi to find out later, years later, that they have to pay back that money. So they're basically giving a three-year cutoff time as well as a few other stipulations saying this, no one should suffer as the result of a payroll error. We're proud to work on this legislation to protect Social Security recipients and prevent future overpayment problems. So with this bill, uh, looks like this could prevent a lot of headaches, especially people are, are, are told that they have to give back up to you know, tens of thousands of dollars, uh, which is they obviously don't have. If they're on Social Security, living off Social Security alone, they're not allowed to have any money in savings. Uh, they don't have that money to give back to Social Security. So what, what is, what's, what's the solution there? Well, this bill uh, seems to be a good solution for that problem. Really, it's sort of a band-aid for it. The big problem is the SSA, their backlog, and their inefficiency. So that really needs to be corrected too. And I don't think throwing money at the SSA is going to fix it either. Uh, so that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys, this is Bella, this is the tip of the day. I want to tell you the one thing you should do for when you're feeling down and you, and you want to follow your wishes, then do whatever you want. It's a free country here. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> so bye guys. Have a good have a good night or a night, good day. Tim Waltz, the VP candidate to Harris, has a couple of ideas for Social Security. If he's elected, what will he do for your Social Security? Check, click this video to find out more on that. So click that video now and I'll see you in that video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.